Well, hello, my friends. I'm in the backyard Thanksgiving Day. Tomorrow and Saturday, Mike P. Hiker and I will be out on a trail for two nights, three days. But you guys know I've been, I've been rocking this Sea to Summit pot for 10 months now. And a couple of little things came to mind, very minor issues, but, uh, but I want to tell you about them. The first thing I know when I've, the, this, this is the right size pot, 1.2 liters, you can do side dishes, boil your water, cook your lamian, uh, ramen noodles. And uh, the first thing I noticed was when it's full, when, it, when I've got my um, canister stand in um, Bic lighter and the various things in here, when I go to pick it up, I noticed that uh, the cover would do like this. You see, that's not a deal breaker, but see, it would do like that. And I didn't particularly care for that, but that ain't a deal breaker. I'm still rocking this pot. The other thing was, and it's happened more than one time, and Mike, Mike claims, Mike claims that I don't put it on level ground, <laughs> but if I've got it, say, on, on my stove, I use the um, Snow Peak Giga Power, and uh, if I take uh, the bottle and pour water in it, it, it's enough force that causes it to slide off the stove. Now, I'm not sure what that issue is, but I, I think it's a couple of things. To start with, it's a little round here, which makes it easy cleaning on the inside, but if you notice the bottom, the bottom is has an indentation there of some kind. And I think the way the prongs fit on here causes it also to be a little slippery. So now I'm finding out that if I'm using this pot, I almost have to have one hand on it. It'll sit by itself, but if you pull anything or try to stir it, it wants to slip off. So that was the two things. It took 10 months for me to think of those two things, two, I guess negative things for me, but I'm still rocking it. It's a wonderful pot. Now, recently, I got interested in this pot. This one is uh, this one is made by MSR, and it's it's a, called a ceramic 1.3 liter, so it's a 0.1 liter more than that one, uh, the Cedar Summit Alpha pot, but it's a ceramic pot. And as you see, they, they're basically, basically the same pot. This one, this one's a little higher. And uh, the diameter is just a little bit bigger. It's 1.3 liters versus the uh, 1.2 liters. But what I got interested in that and if it was um, a couple of things because it had a bigger bottom for one thing and the top seems to lock in a little better for me. But I want to tell you, I want to tell you when I got this, when I got this out, I saw this um, lid and I saw these indentations. I don't know if the sun is shining right, right there. And I said, oh my God, it's all crimped up and I'll have to send it back. But actually there's a little hook right there that it goes under is what happens. See, it goes, goes under like that. And then, of course, this handle will come off and then this just goes down on it. Now, another thing, another thing, this, this don't turn, this handle on the top of the lid don't turn. And if you can see, it's got two little, two little tits, I guess, a bump sticking out there. And that's, that's where after you put the lid on and close the handle, see, now, the other thing that caught my interest is this is a ceramic pot. You can't see because it's all black in there, but it's a ceramic pot. Now, I've um, what they call uh, seasoned it yesterday with some olive oil and stuff, but I'm going to be taking this out on the trail for a couple of days, and I'll let you know, I'll let you know how it goes. But um, either one of these look like, Look like I could rock either one of these, really. I don't see an issue 
with one of these, but this one being a this one being a little shallow, not much, but it is a little shallower than this one. So what I'm thinking, being ceramic, that I'll be able to fry some bacon. Actually, I'm taking sausage, uh, Jimmy Dean sausage, pre-cooked. Just and I'm gonna, I'm not bringing in a frying pan. I'm gonna try to cook them and heat them up in here, which should work. And then I'm gonna crack two eggs and and make my eggs in here and uh, like I say oh, I'll I'll bring you back in on this once I've used it but uh, it looks promising to me this and as far as as far as the um, review I'm not doing that I'm just telling you what I like and don't like but I will put links to both these if you consider them you can go do your own research as far as weight negligible I don't see no difference hardly I, I don't I could if you ask me which one was heavy I couldn't tell you uh, which one was lighter they feel just about the same so anyway that's it now I'll see you at the trailhead tomorrow well we had the old country stove parking lot heading up to the trailhead and um, I'm gonna track this hike we're using an app I noticed some of the uh, bike people that ride bikes use it's called relive I guess you can relive your event but when I get up there I'll take a shot of the overlook loop it's going to be part of the overlook loop about two miles up to the Pine Mountain Trail we'll have to do some switchbacks I think a half a dozen switchbacks till we get up there and then uh, we we'll turn left and head down to Dead Pine campsite so I'll, when we get up there I'll take and start the start the app. He's, <laughs> I just finished those switchbacks. I hope this uh, Relive app is recording those switchbacks because I've been so busy huffing and puffing I wasn't able to count them. But we made it up here <laughs> where the Chestnut Trail intercepts with the Pine Mountain Trail. So now we're going to go left and head to Dead Pine Campsite. I think it's about a mile. So, okay. Yeah, a few days ago, I introduced you to this MSR non-stick ceramic pot, and I might have misspoke, so let me try to straighten it out for you. I mentioned that this cover had a little crimp in it here. Originally, I thought it was a mistake and was going to send it back, but in the pot, see, this got this little lip. I was thinking it went, went, went like this. In my first use, I was boiling water to um, make some coffee and I, I had it I had the cover on it thinking this is the way it would go but when I reached over to raise up the lid to see how my water was doing the steam was coming out of these strainer holes to where I could I really couldn't do it it was that hot I had to switch hands and do use my right hand so I'm thinking my god they made us a right-handed pot <laughs> So anyway, I ended up swapping it exactly around like that so that the strainer was on this side so I could lift it up. Then I realized this indentation here actually was made for this. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can use this, you can use this lid anyway. It, it doesn't matter. But when you're going to store it, say you want to put it up and remove the handle or you want to store it, they made to, it's made for this handle to go like that. As far as using it, you can use the cover anyway. Now, I've already cooked my breakfast early this morning. And um, I, I just warmed up the um, 
sausage. But in tomorrow morning, uh, yeah, tomorrow morning, I'll show you how I cook my eggs. It was able, it was all right. And they didn't stick to the bottom of the pan either. So I'll show you how I did my eggs in the morning. Okay, next morning, I wanted to introduce you to two things. You probably already know about them, but uh, I usually carry a piezo lighter. But sometimes it don't work in rainy weather. So I have to carry a Bic lighter just in case. And um, I see, I, I've never, never successful trying to light my stove with one of these big lighters because it burned my thumb. <laughs> but Mike introduced me to this big lighter. He found it in the dollar store. <laughs> anyway, that's that's far, farther enough away from the flame. You see, it won't burn your finger. But you've probably seen those. This is the first time I've seen a little big lighter like that. The next, a little hack, I guess you can say, is we use a three liter knock bag, but this uh, soya filter, this is the regular, and this is the little white um, cap that comes with it. But it, I always, in the winter time, and it's, your fingers are wet, so you can't hardly pull this open. Plus it leaks, the problem is when it leaks. But Mike discovered and found out you can take one of these um, smart water bottle uh, sports caps it fits right on it plus it's easier to open <laughs> no more leaks from this part anyway just thought you might might want to uh, know about that now I'm gonna reposition this camera and um, show you how I'm gonna cook my eggs in the pot Don't touch this part here. This metal part is hot. Almost clean. That's how you cook eggs. And there's Mike over there. He's cooking inside his tent this morning. This morning. <laughs> okay, that's it for this moment. Okay, this one's for you, Ice Bear. A Kardashian tree. <laughs> Uh, that's for you, Ice Bear. Well, has Sweeps' his lemon squeeze. We didn't forget about you, Sweeps. There you go, Sweeps' his lemon squeeze. Okay, this is the end of the second day adventure. Miss spoke, so let me try to straighten it out for you. But last last night, <laughs> oh, see, it's made. See, see, like that. But unless you're going, unless you're going to store it, unless you're going to store it, it don't matter. You can uh, 
dollar store. Well, it ain't. <laughs> That's going to be it for this week. And I thank you guys for watching.